Hello guys, Luke here and welcome back to Sea of Thieves. Now today, uh, for the first time ever, I'm not starting straight away with uh, the game itself. We're actually starting on their website. Uh, we're checking out the patch notes for the latest update. We just had a massive update drop and uh, we have had to all download the game again. Uh, it's only 10 gig on the original Xbox One and 27 gigabytes on the One X and PC. Anyway, we are delving into the patch notes first before we start gameplay because this is quite a big patch. There is no real like new events. Well, there is one event uh, added in this patch, but uh, mostly it is bug fixes and uh, weapon balancing, things like that. And we're going to run through it really quick. So first of all, we have a new voyage we can do called Mercenary Voyage of the Run Runner. So we have the new voyage itself purchasable from Duke for the low price of five doubloons. So it's pretty good. Uh, although the voyage itself isn't that lucrative. Like, it says lucrative, but uh, there is nothing that special about it. Basically, it will be like a mini Athena voyage. Basically, you are going to get a bit of gold hoarders, a bit of order of souls, and a bit of merchant uh, cargo, to be exact, not animals. So it gets you rep in all trading companies. So it's useful if you want to just evenly level up everything at the same time. Me, myself personally, being a pirate legend, I am level 50 in every trading company anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. I've just got to do it once because on to the next thing here, loyal to the coin. Completing one mercenary voyage, your first one, will award you 50 doubloons, so that is excellent. Um, <laughs> especially because uh, we are able to spend the doubloons on new uh, cosmetics, of course. And that is the next thing here, Time Limited Mercenary Cosmetics. We have a mercenary uh, sail, hull, and flag for your ship. Continuing on here, we have Combat Balancing, and there is quite a bit, as you can see here, for balancing. Uh, basically, the big things are double gunning is no longer a thing because now the pistol, blunderbuss, and eye of reach have new animations when wielding it, enforce a delay when equipping and switching. And we are also getting uh, reduced uh, hip fire accuracy with the eye of reach. Anyway, these are kind of smaller uh, little adjustments here for damage. I don't want to take too long, so. The damage of the eye of reach has been reduced as well. I don't know why they reduced it. They buffed it actually in a previous update and now they've reduced it again, so back to what it was maybe. Basically, because they say they've increased the, the bullet speed here, so they reckon that's why they should re reduce the damage. I <laughs> don't, I don't understand. The Kraken now uh, does less damage to sloops. Doesn't give them such a hard time. And my favorite thing of all, this bit here, a ghost on the waves. Rumors of a pale beast in the waves have been circulating heavily, with sightings becoming slightly more frequent as it's grown in infamy. So basically, the uh, ghost meg, as you know, is the shrouded ghost in game. Very elusive. Uh, it's been very hard to find. I have not yet found it. So hopefully when we get into the game today, I can go and find it and hopefully have it in this video as well. Here's the download size for the update. Quite a large update. Well, we've actually got to download the whole game again. 27 gig for me on PC. Only 10 for the Xbox One, as I said before. And that's basically it for the patch notes, guys. I know there's some other smaller patch notes up here, but we're going to skip over them. The, the important stuff, in my opinion, has been mentioned. So anyway, let's get into today's footage for Sea of Thieves. And here we are guys, I just loaded into the game and straight away before we set sail we have um, a notice here, crew and coin come first. Duke is giving out mercenary voyages for pirates who want a taste of gold from all the trading companies. It's a great way to launch a new legend. Well, being a legend already, don't really need his help but uh, I may as well take a voyage anyway from Duke. It's the, the first mercenary voyage is a free voyage. You don't have to pay doubloons for it. So let's set sail here. Oh, they got some new screens here too. Duke's in the tavern offering a lucrative new voyage for would-be mercenaries. Okay. Cool. Okay, since we are starting off in the tavern of an outpost, uh, we may as well talk to Duke. He's right behind me. Open sea. So, ahoy, I'm craving some new adventures. Let's play these stuffy trading companies against each other. Wait, I, f I thought the first one was free. Mercenary Voyage of the Rum Runner. Seek out the stash of notorious Rum Runner, a set of prizes valuable to all the trading companies. I don't know if I see much point in doing this myself. I mean, I've... Oh, wait. No, there is a purpose. So we have mercenary sails here that are white and red with a... a lobster? <laughs> I think it's a lo lobster or a scorpion. I'm not sure. Scorpion? I don't know. Mercenary hull? Oh, it's red and green. I actually love that hull. And the flag. Well, I don't use flags much on the ship unless it's a Reaper's Mark, so yeah, won't be using the flag much. But yeah, the hull and sails look amazing. And unfortunately, to unlock these, we have to do a mercenary voyage, so let's go ahead and buy one anyway. But I thought I was getting one for free. I thought everyone got a mercenary voyage for free when they launched into the game. So we have the Versary Voyage of the Rum Runner. All right, cool. Let's go put it down and see what happens. Whoa, I just thought I'd check uh, some barrels before I got on my boat and someone has been nice enough to leave us all these cursed cannibals. So thank you, whoever that was. Wow, we've got quite the arsenal now of cursed cannibals. Anyway, to the sloop. Let's go and have a look at what we got. Ah, I see, so we have a bit of everything, except animals for some reason. I don't know why 
they insist on giving us cargo all the time. Oh, six crates from Wild Henry in Crooks at Crooks Hollow. And we have Cutlass Chaotor of Souls. We have a riddle on Snake Island, and we have Chester Dig on Plunder Valley. Uh, Plunder Valley is one of my least favorite islands, as it is so massive and hard to find things. But anyway, let's go ahead and mark those down. So we have, of course, Cutlass K, we have Crooks Hollow, Snake Island, and Plunder Valley. And they make sort of a nice sort of circuit. So I guess we'll head to Cutlass K first, head up and across, and then back to Plunder Outpost. Sounds good to me. So before I set off on this voyage, I've decided to show you guys um, one of the big updates in this patch, which is the double gunning prevention patch. Uh, so basically I've got an eye of reach here, I've got a pistol here, and notice how the animations are quite slow. They actually have a new animation to bring the guns up into view. So let's try and double gun as fast as we can here. I'm going to shoot the eye of reach point blank. Um, also that's another thing guys, if I shoot point blank... Oh, that actually... That hit the... Uh, so I was aiming straight ahead that way, like towards that rock over there, and I hit the boat. That's pretty bad. So that's another one of the patches as well for weapon balancing is that the eye of reach can no longer just shoot straight where the reticle is every time, no fail. Um, now it shoots sort of <laughs> haywire if you ask me. So I just refueled my ammo. Let's try it now. Oh, that's quite a delay. It's like a whole second delay between shooting. Let me try that once more. Three, two, one, shoot, switch. Um, I was spamming click the whole time, so it's a full second between shots now. Before, it was basically instant. Although, what I love, and I just tried this before I showed that to you guys, um, if you do the sniper and sword combo, it is still pretty instant. So, let's shoot with the sniper and then sword now. Three, two, one, shoot and sword. It's not quite as instant as I recall. Uh, from before, before the patch, but it seems pretty quick. It's definitely quicker than a gun. So without further ado guys, let's get this mercenary voyage done. Oh, final- wait, we got a final chapter? Oh, I forgot about this. We have three final X marks to spots. Alright, let's go. It's, uh, Thieves Haven. So I heard that the final chapter of a mercenary voyage, uh, gives you three cursed chests. Oh, did I just hear a- I just hear a Meg? No, I thought I did. Oh, you're joking. I was hoping it'd be a Meg, not a Kraken. You wanna suck me? Suck this. Oh, I missed. They definitely reduced the difficulty. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Alright, fortunately we are nearly out of the black ink, um, may as well turn towards the edge just here. That's Thieves Haven just there, we just need to make it out. Oh, that was a deep growl. Did they change the sound? Oh! Oi, no! No, no, this is bad. <laughs> My crewmate's selling- oh! Yay! Sword saves me. See, double gunners? You need to carry the sword for this sort of shit. Come on. Oh, we have, we're closer to Thieves Haven. Come on, let me get back. Please. My boat is sinking, I think. I can hear it. Ah, uh, yes. What? Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Come on. I guess I can just get my loot and go to Thieves Haven. Why not? Oh, what? Oh, 
you're kidding me. My own ship landed on my head and I got teleported. What? Hey, what? I'm still here. Okay, that was a stroke of luck. I've had a very unlucky time so far with ships attacking me and the Kraken and... Well, here's all my loot coming up. So this is why, guys, I always equip a rowboat to my ship. Because if you fail... You're, you fail your own ship, then you can just simply load everything in the rowboat and continue on. Lucky for us, the Kraken doesn't attack rowboats. So they've slowed down the rowboat speed in the Kraken Inc. I didn't plan on showing you guys this example, but, you know, lucky me. Okay, we are here, finally. Thieves Haven. Alright, to find these chests, we are facing north and... Oh, we are very close to one, actually. There's just one... I don't know, let me work this out. Wait, I'm on, I'm on the island of one of them. There should be one right here. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, it's chests of a thousand grogs. If it's all three chests of a thousand grogs, I'm probably gonna leave them. Just because I don't need them. And there's another one over on this beach over here. Should be right here. Chest number two. Thousand grogs, damn it. Ah oh, yeah, it's right here, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. A third chest of a thousand grogs. Oh, there's our 50 doubloons in the corner there. Sweet, we only spent five doubloons to get 50. Pretty good ratio there. Voyage complete. Mercenary voyage of the Rum Runners is done. Alright, it's gone from our list. Uh, let's have a look at comment. Oh, there we go. Commendation unlocked. Loyal to the coin. I have no ship, so I'm stranded on Thieves Haven. Uh, let's have a look at accommodations list here, actually. Oh, look. Mercenary voyages. So currently this is the only voyage, though, so that's it. And everything else for me is complete, except for the Shattered Spoils and, of course, the Shattered Ghost. It's the only thing I need to finish this friggin' game of comment like this collection of commendations pretty much okay guys that's gonna do it for this episode of sea of thieves um unfortunately we didn't get to see the shrouded ghost this episode i uh, was sailing around for quite a while and yeah i actually saw no megs this episode we fought the kraken though and uh didn't really beat that i was underestimating it too much it said it was gonna re reduce damage to sloops but uh it seems to still get the best of me we are going to definitely hunt the shattered ghost and it will definitely come up in a future video on this channel so definitely hit like if you enjoyed this video subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you guys around the channel all right have a good one